this ending, this motherfucking ending. Yeah, did I? I yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Yeah, the cuss words are gonna come out. This is art. This is some artistic ass shit. Now. The episode in and of itself was really fucking good, but I just want to talk specifically about this ending because I literally like was like the do 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 da, da, da. So from the jump, I'm like, oh wow, okay, you know the art style looks kind of cute. This is kind of cool. Look at that. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Look at this and look at that. Boom, boom, boom. But as soon as UG started like dancing, I was like, wait a second. I can dance. The horn, the saxophones, the trump, the horns, like the whole thing was a fucking mood. Like when people are talking about like, ooh, this is a vibe. This is a mood. This is a whatever. This is a vibe. This is a mood. This is what I like to see in my anime. This shit is so fucking cool. It reminds me of Bleach. This is some Bleach ass shit where I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, I really like the fucking show. But the openings and the endings, like, you can't, like, it's really hard for motherfuckers to come for Bleach when you are talking about, like, their openings and their endings. Like, the uh, talent that they got to sing them and then the visuals that came along with them. Like, we're getting the same thing with Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, the opening, flawless opening of the year. I'm already just gonna say that. And then, like, this, like, today, like, this. <sighs> it was just so good. Like, I'm literally, like, banging the shit around my house as I clean. And... It's only getting better and better and better and better. One thing that I really will say is that it reminded me so much of like persona. Like I think it's like at it's like the acid jazz like style, like Shoji Meguro um Persona Five. Like not Shoji Meguro Persona Four, Persona Three. Like this has like Persona Five like music vibes like all fucking over it, and it works. Like it fucking works so well. And it's kind of just like a slight like distraction because listen, I don't do horror. I feel like I've been screaming that from the rooftops a lot lately, but I don't really do horror like that. So for me to like get through that whole episode, I'm like, man, what the hell they got going on for this fucking ending? Like, are we going to get something that's upbeat? Are we going to get some slow stuff? Or are we going to get something that's like, you know, you know, regular, whatever. This came on, I was like, oh, this is, this is, this is the ending of the year. Actually, this is one of the best endings that I have watched an anime in a very, very long time. And uh, I think what's one of the most recent endings, I guess, that like really like caught my eye, or that's at least memorable to me, is most likely like the Burn the Witch. Maybe from, maybe then, let's not say like memorable overall, let's just say from like this current airing fall 2020 time, like, Mm, Burn the Witch kind of was the only one. I'm da -da, da -da -da -da. Plus, with the visuals, like they didn't even have any like animated anime scenes. It was just like stills of them in cute clothing. Listen, let's get into the clothing too. I want to get into this clothing. We're gonna get into the clothing. So the clothing for this shit was phenomenal. It was so fucking cool. It was like not even no. It's not. It's not business casual. It's street fashion casual. Like street fashion casual. It was so minimalistic yet so fucking cool. And it looked comfortable to be in. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, I would dance in that shit too. If I was in that, I'd be like, oh, this is comfy. You know, like you got your oversized shirt. My favorite part was when Satoru came out in that shit and was d the body roll and just like, I was attracted. I was attracted. I was attracted to this 2D character. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I was like, and he wasn't even fully fucking animated. I was like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? This shit is so. Uh, I don't know. I'm not lit. It's it's so nice. It's so nice. Also, right there, like with the smiling, you probably see I got like two <laughs> teeth cut in half right there. Had a really bad bike accident. Still recovering. Like, overall, I don't even know who the other characters were that they showed. Everybody looked cool, cute, in their own world, and vibing. Like, this whole thing was a fucking vibe. I I am so excited for the next cur for this. Because 
if this is how they're coming out of the gate with the music for the opening and the ending, then I just, I just, I just, what, what the fuck else is going to happen? I think maybe the only other thing that probably would even stand a chance of beating it would be Attack on Titan because they always go hard. And it's all it's also going to be animated by Studio Mappa. So, so far, um, Jujutsu Kaisen, like, you know... There's stuff here, and then there's stuff here, and then Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, it's, it's up here. It's up here, as far as music-wise. So, there might be something else that'll come. But, thinking about it, like, the soundtrack within the show really doesn't do anything for me. But this opening and this ending, oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. They win. They win. They win. More stuff is coming. If you have not seen, which I don't think that I have advertised on this channel yet... I do have an anime podcast with my friend James. We are, we're talking about like all of it. There are 15 episodes out so far. Um, uh, actually, there's 16 episodes, but one of them was like a fall preview, like kind of thing. So we kind of didn't really count it. But if you are interested in seeing or, you know, like maybe watching along with some of the stuff that I might be covering on the channel in the near future, then you can definitely hit that podcast episode up. I'm going to put the link down here, down here. Also, if you have not seen this ending, I'm going to put the link for that down here too because Toho Animation put it on their YouTube. It is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Like, it deserves millions of views. It deserves, like, the K-pop views. Like, I, I'm i going to say it. I'm going to say it. I hope no K-pop stands charge my ass up in these fucking comments. But it deserves it. It really fucking deserves it. But, yeah, Anime Savants down there. Um, uh, Kuro Shore on Twitter. Kuro Shore on Instagram. And then the Anime Savants tags will be down there too. That is on Instagram and Twitter. So it's all going to be down there in the captions. Okay. Bye.